we're going to be looking at how to interpret an inequality statement in three different ways. First, we'll write a statement, then we'll interpret it using a number line, and finally, the interval notation, which is the trickiest of all. So we're going to start with forming a statement to make the whole domino go boom. So our statement should be, hmm, let's start out with something simple. X is greater than one. I'm going to give you a bag of tricks that you will probably uh, learn when they meet later. So, there is open and there are two types of signs. Open ones and closed ones. Open ones don't have an equal or equal to in there. So, they are not included. So, they are not included. And in, uh, an open, an open circle looks like this in the interval notation. You can put this next to an open, uh, a number with an oval circle worked on it. A closed one is basically the opposite. You have an uh, equal to sign on the bottom. So uh, the number that the, a closed circle is on, and you learn what all of this difference means later. You can put a bracket, a square bracket, uh, on it in the interval notation. Gosh, this is getting complicated. So now, we don't have much space for our number line, but let's try writing it anyway. So, zero, this is negative, and this is positive infinity. So now, uh, be sure to note that positive infinity always must have an open circle on it. So, it looks like this on the number line. So, I'm just going to shade in the closed circle. So, that's how the closed circle looks like, and that's how the open circle looks like. And that's how you can identify them. So, for this statement, we can see that there's no equal to sign on the bottom of this sign. So, uh, we can identify it as an open circle statement. Meaning that we can keep a circle that is open uh, and not filled in and above our y. So now, let's try writing the interval notation. So, since this is an, so let's first write it. So, we know that this strictly cannot be included. So, somewhere in this range, x lies. So, no, x is not lying, but your x is not lying, but x lies somewhere here. So, anyway, we can write the notation, which would be 1, comma, infinity. 1 to infinity. And since this is not a closed circle, it would look like this. Uh, it, this is not a closed circle statement, it would look like this. Why can't I write a god darn parentheses? So, now, let's look at our second statement. And we're going to put x is greater than or equal to 1. So now, let's see how this works out. First, we know this must be a closed circle statement. And it is included. So, because, uh, say you have the... Uh, you, it is included in the group. One is now included in the group that x is greater than. So, it's greater than or equal to y. So, let's just put a zero, negative infinity, and infinity. So now, uh, this one, this one is a closed circle since it is included in the group that x lies in which would be somewhere around here. So now, how we can write this is still 1, comma, infinity. Now, you may be asking, how do we differentiate this uh, not, uh, interval notation from this interval notation? Well, what you can do is, in order to differentiate, you must put a, a square bracket, these things, in front, uh, behind, one of the closed circles, uh, one of the numbers with a closed circle on it. 
So for example, this one needs to have this kind of bracket before it. Anyway, so now we're going to move on to our third statement, x is less than one. So now, since this is uh, not a closed circle one, this is an open circle one, you can see this matches with this. So let's draw our number line again, negative infinity, positive infinity, and there's a zero in the middle. So now, let's draw our one, and our one is an open circle. It's not included in the group that is less than one. Uh, it's not included in the group that is less than uh, one. So, um, we are going to put an open circle on it. You can also erase the line inside if you want. So, x lies somewhere in this range. If you remember, uh, infinity or negative infinity is always open circle. It can never be closed circle. So, we can put a, a, a parenthesis here, and since one is open circle, we can also put a parenthesis here, meaning that the range is negative infinity to one. Now, we're going to look at our last and final statement. Don't worry, we'll learn how to solve them in our next lecture. So, uh, X is less than or equal to one. Let's, uh, now, let's represent that on our number line. That's uh, infinity and that's a negative infinity and that's a zero. So now, for x is less than or equal to a negative one, so let's first, no, x is less than or equal to one, so let's first draw our one. And now, since this is a closed circle, you can see, it, it must be included in the group. And the circle here, it must be stated in. So, now, uh, it must be included in there. So, that means that the range of x must look somewhere here. As you can see, it includes the one in there as well. So, so we know that it ranges from negative infinity, which must be an open circle, but one is a closed circle. So we put a bracket there, then we put a one. So, thank you everybody for watching, and I'll see you next. This video was made possible by Brilliant.